Hello, my dear children. Welcome back to the maths class. Now, last day we have uh, seen about the numeration, systems of numeration. In that we have seen the Indian system of numeration. And we learned that in the Indian system of numeration, we are having how many periods? Four periods and each period is divided into two places each except for one period which is divided into three places. We have seen how to write the number name as well as the numeral in the Indian system of numeration. So today we will be dealing with the second type of numeration that is the international system of numeration. So we are going to learn the international system of numeration. See, now, at least now you would have heard, either in the paper you would have read or you have heard from the news that uh, the US government has uh, planned to give, say, 26 billion or uh, 30 million dollars to the people who are affected by COVID and all. You would have heard. So, you would be thinking, millions, billions, what are these? Okay, these are some numbers only, number systems only. But is it same as our lakhs and crores or is it more or is it less? You will have a doubt. So all these trillions, millions, billions and all will come under the international system. It is worldwide used. See, Indian system we are using. The international system, the whole world is using this system. When large numbers are being given, we use the international system of numeration. In the Indian system, I told you there are four periods and nine places. Unlike that, the international system of numeration has got only three periods. And each of the three periods are again divided into three places. All are equally divided into three places each. Just to recollect, Indian system, four periods except one, all the others are divided into two places. And only the one period is divided into three places. But here we are having only three periods. And all the three periods are divided again into three places. Now let us see which are the places and which are the periods. Now the three periods are the one period, the thousand period and the million period millions period so doesn't mean that it is stopping over at million but we are restricting ourselves to million there are beyond this also but we are restricting ourselves up to the millions so here we are having the one period the thousand period and the million period now i told you each of these are again divided into three places each the one period is divided into ones tens and hundreds as usual. The thousands period is divided into three, one thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. So that makes a difference. One thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Similarly, the million period is also divided into three, one million, ten million and hundred million. So have you seen the periods and the places? Which are the periods? The one period, thousand period and the million period. And the places are ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, ten million and hundred million. Is it clear for you? Now let us just compare this with our Indian system of numeration. Indian system. So in the Indian system, we are having, which are the places, ones, tens, hundreds, we have one thousand, ten thousand, then what we have, one lakh, one lakh, ten lakh, one crore and ten crore. Now just let us make a comparison. What is one million equivalent in our Indian system? It is equivalent to 10 lakh. What is 100,000 
equivalent to in our Indian system, it is 1 lakh. What is 100 million equivalent to in the Indian system? 10 crore. So is that comparison clear for you? Is it clear? So we are having how many periods? 3 periods and how many places? 9 places are there. The introduction is just for millions. Up to thousands we know we everywhere we are using. Now it is millions. So now if somebody tells you 36 million dollar. Okay, ah, 36 million. 36 million is somewhere nearer to our lakh or crore. You have that idea in our mind. Now when we learn the number, numeral and the number name, then you will be able to clearly identify how much is this 36 millions in our Indian system, how much it is. Now we will uh, see how to write the number name and the numeral in the international system of numeration. Now suppose you are having say a number like this. Now we have learned in the Indian system for easier work what we do we put commas. So here also we are going to put commas to easily identify which period it belongs to. The digits belong to which period. So same procedure only but since here the periods are divided into three places each you will be putting the comma after how many digits? After three digits towards the left starting from the right towards the left. So I am going to rewrite this number. I am going to write it again. Okay. Is it here? Now from the left I am going to put the commas. The first comma will be put after how many digits? After three digits. So one, two, three. The first comma I am putting it here. Again the next com comma comes where? After three digits. So one, two, three. I put the comma. Now can we write which are the periods? This will be the ones period. This will be the thousands period. And this is the millions period. Now it has become very easy for us to read this number. What is the number? What is in millions period? 4. So 4 million. What is in the thousands period? 35. So this is 35,000. And what is in the ones period? 689. So what is the number name for this particular number? 4 million 35,689. One more example I shall give you. Okay, this number. So as usual, what you will do? You will be putting the commas. So first comma, you will put after how many digits? Three digits. Again three digits. Then the last three, if it is there. So let us rewrite this number first. 110 so first comma where you are going to put after three digits towards the left. So it will be 1, 2, 3 here. Again after three digits. So 1, 2, 3 here. So here all the three are completely filled. So now it is easy for us to read the number. This will be ones period, thousands period, millions period. In millions period what we are having, what is the number we are having? 110. Now what do you have in the thousands? 200 and what do you have here 355 so now read the number 110 million 200 thousand 355 is it clear for you how to write the or read the number or write the number name after inserting the commas now let us try to write the numeral i'll be giving a number say 1 million 20,010. How to write this numeral? 1 million, 20,010. 1 million. So in the million period you are having only 1. Okay. There is nothing in the what places 10 millions and 100 million space. You don't have anything. So we don't put zeros before we start a number. That zero doesn't have any value. See that doesn't mean that if it is like this, 
this zero doesn't have any value. It has got a place value. But before a number, there is no meaning in writing like this, 0, 0, 1. So kindly avoid if it is the first, first number. It is beginning, not in between when it is beginning. So here we are having 1 million, then 20,000. 20,000 means how many places will be there? Only two places are there. But how many places are there in the thousands period? Three places are there. So what you should do? You should be putting a zero. Where you will put the zero? In the hundred thousands place. So you have put the comma hundred thousands place zero. Then what is the other one? Twenty. So two zero. Then again you have the comma ten. Only ten. Again here there is no digit coming in the hundreds place. So what you should do? Put a zero there. So it will be zero one zero. So what is this? One million twenty thousand ten one zero two zero zero one zero. So have you understood how to write the number name and the numeral in the international system of numeration? Is it clear? So now if you know 26 million, 26 million, how will you write 26 million? There's nothing in the thousands and ones period. You only have 26 million, nothing in the 100 million also. So 26, comma, this is our 26 million. Okay, if the US government has uh, uh, is ready to pay 26 million to the people affected by uh, Corona or COVID. Okay, now we know this is the number, 26 million. Yes, we know. Now, this 26 million, it will correspond to what number? 26 million will correspond to what number in Indian system? 26 million. Just think. This is in the Indian system, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, 10 lakh crore. So it will be 2 crore 60 lakh. 2 crore 60 lakh. So have you understood the conversion? Now one more, just an additional information I will tell you. So I told you beyond those millions also there are periods. There is a billions, trillions and all. So just a small information for you. 1 billion, 1 billion is equivalent to 1000, 10,000 millions, 1000 millions. We know up to 100 millions. So 1 billion is equivalent to 1000 millions. That we don't require now, we are not going beyond millions. Just an additional information for you. So today what we have learned, we have learned the international system of numeration. In that we have got how many periods? Three periods. Each of the three periods are divided again into three places. The periods are ones, thousands and millions period. The places are ones, tens, hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, ten million, hundred million. Then we have seen the comparison with the Indian system of numeration. Also we have seen how to write the number name and numeral. The notes will be given for this. Please do write the notes. Homework is also being given. Please do the homework and upload it. I know all my children will be doing it. You're all very good children. You'll be doing it. So each day's work, be prompt in doing it. Make it a point to complete it then and there itself. You're getting enough time for doing. So please do it. Okay, children. Thank you.